How to Draw Cartoons with John Mark. Today's lesson, How to Draw a Cartoon House. Hey, welcome fans, and I appreciate you checking out my latest video. I'm John Mark, and I'm going to be instructing you how to create this cartoon house. This is going to be uh, a per like in a perspective, but not using the method of a true perspective. This is all by visual, by eye. It's going to be a little off here to there from time to time, but it's just a, a unique way to get a thumbnail. And that's all what this is. It's actually just creating a visual from my head as I go. There's no uh, model sheet or anything to view. Uh, this is a good lesson just to draw randomly without having any references. It just use your creative juices and just flow whatever comes to the mind. And that's exactly what I am doing right now as I'm drawing. So what I'm doing is I'm figuring, okay, what should be next? And where should it be or what should it look like? And I'm just using my imagination. And as I was building this, I saw the top part be a flat. And I said, you know what, let's turn this into a little clock tower at that moment. But that didn't hit me until I made a little uh, visual uh, technique that I said, you know, that doesn't look like a typical house in the height. And let's just change it into a little clock. So from this lesson, I want you really pay attention to using your creative juices. Sometimes you might need to do some sketching on another pad and get your thoughts out before continuing on the one that you're working on. That's okay. But for me right now, I'm just going as it is and not erasing or stopping. I used to time myself uh, like within about 10 to 15 minutes of these drawings and whenever 10, 15 minutes were up, just stopped, whatever it was like. And later I created pictures that I did it up to an hour and the detail totally is so much more involved. Uh, these are really, really fast sketches where the one hour ones, they, they really came out really good. But I don't wanna take a whole hour of your time so that's why I'm just creating these little quick thumbnail sketches that you can learn and see how I uh, continually draw as I uh, use my imagination. And, and I will say this, model sheets are a good thing or having books open and how structures could look like is okay. But in this lesson, again, just use your imagination. Just however something comes up, a window, a door, a frame, a structure, uh, a tree, a cloud, rocks, flowers, you know, uh, however anything comes to your imagination. And that this is just sharpening your creativity that you don't need to rely on a book or a visual, but doesn't mean you don't want to. All right, so as I'm sketching, I'm sketching very light again, and then I'll come back in some areas and maybe a little darker. But as this one progresses, you can see um, I'm still thinking, if you watch how I'm using my stylus pen, so on occasion I might just pause, and like right there, I'm not so sure where to go, I'm like, okay, let's go over here, let's go over and put the doorknob on, and at that little structure, uh, it's like a little um, pushed in door, and let's get that wall there. I could have curtains up there, windows, flowers on the outside, I kind of shade in some of the areas to help... <clears throat> separate the different areas of your visual kind of gives you a little more dimension when you see that shadow things start to pop out a little bit more all right so what should i do over here now let's just just gradate the side of the um the roof there all the way down because as if the sun is on the far right and everything on the left is kind of shady all right, let's, instead of a door there, let's just transform that one into a window and a window there. And that's our little clock tower. The doorway either is on the other side of this structure or you can go through this little house on the left to get in. And there's no real rhyme or reason right now. It's just being creative. And let's put some bushes here. And, and I will say what I have done on a lot of my uh, sketching time on my little pads, I used to just sketch one object if it's always a bush or a tree or shrubs or a fence and i'll just do that one moment all different types of shrubs and bushes and then if i need to come back to that to bring into a picture like this i can use my art as a reference not looking for art elsewhere so that's another very useful tool 
uh, creating um, an archive of your artwork filled with um, different types of model sheets from elements to people's faces, and in this case, fun houses. That's one of my uh, favorite things to do outside of drawing is using your imagination to build just these interesting structures. I've made them for the past ooh, 20 plus years like that, done a lot of them, but I enjoy it. It's kind of fun. All right, now let's see where I'm going to go. That's a little smoke there coming out. And a little chimney. Where else? Let's put a window right here. And a little circle one. You could have put a clock there. You could have put a light coming down on the door. In this case, I'm just going to put a little window. And is the window a solid glass panel or is it open? Use your imagination there. Let's let's get a little bit more of the roof line, a little darker. That looking good. All right, let's get some more shrubs and trees growing on the back side there. Let's just give them a little shadow there, a little shading. And let's just overhang there the side of the room. Same thing. There we go. Maybe that's just like a porch. In that case, all open up. That's like a piece of wood sticking up there. So is it made out of uh, concrete? And that part is like a tutor of the house. Again, not so sure. If I took this back and colored in, then you would really know the different stuff. And and then I probably would change and have the, the shingles all on the house. That takes a little bit more time. I, I put a shingle on all, all my houses. That take me about an hour to do. But I love those. Okay, let's what's oh you know what? Let's do some fences. Yeah, let's do a, a fence coming from uh, far away and getting closer and closer. These are fun. Uh, there's a little picket fence you can really just pole fence, I should say, and just I place them and make the the poles all crooked, not always the same size, and it goes further, further, smaller, smaller, and angle them different when they go around the curve or behind a hill. There you go. It gives a, a nice uh, eye visual. It pulls you from the back all the way to the front right now. There we go. Let's get all this. And then I just put one rail on the top for right now. There we go. Yeah, I laid all my poles first. Not intentionally all perfectly straight. I like them stagging uh, a little bit crooked here and there. And even some of these um, rails, you can actually make them broken or missing to add very unique elements again. A good thing to do is if you're ever traveling and you're traveling uh, in a farm area or outside the country, take a visual of how the, your surroundings are. That helps with all this, what I'm working on. I've traveled Switzerland and Europe uh, many times in my lifetime. I have family over there and this is some of the, the visual that uh, I'm bringing back home to my uh, details, to my drawings. All right, let's have this one go all the way behind the house, the other side. So there's that close up and it wraps around the house here. That's looking good. Yeah, I'm liking that. And let's give it a little pathway narrow and then it gets really wider towards you. There we go. There again, it pulls you into that front door. A little grass here and there. Just simple, simple sketch. This is not a final drawing. This is just a sketch. But this helps you to get your thoughts down. I want you to really use your imagination and challenge uh, your ability. And let's put some big clouds in the background even further. And if I took this um, to my light box or to my stylus and changed the layer, I would really, really uh, clean up the line work a lot more. All right, I think we're done. So let's sign and date. As always, thanks for checking out our video. Hey, do you have an artist in your family that likes to draw and sketch? We got these three cartoon books that your kids will definitely enjoy. So what are you waiting for? Visit our website, that's jmg-studio.biz.